And we're back with some more X4. And this monstrosity up ahead is our factory. As you can see, it has grown quite considerably. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. This thing has just gotten a little bit out of hand. And in a good way. Like, there's just mountains of construction capacity here. And most of it's just for making... Well, all of the resources we need to make more of the resources we need to make more of this factory. Well, okay, it's making us a profit as well. We're selling a bunch of the hull components and claytronics and things like that. It's helping stimulate the local economy quite nicely and giving our bank account a good workout. However, there are things that need doing. One, I want to expand this even further. And the best way to do that would be to say, oh, speed up time by using the little SATA management module thingy and that would speed up time and allow us to get more things done faster. However, there's problems with doing such a thing. Namely, every time I start doing that, someone over here decides to get their butt handed to them by the Xenon. Uh, they'll either pop out of here with either a K-Destroyer or even worse, an I. Oh, actually, there is a K-Destroyer right now. So it either tries to break out of here and it causes stampedes through places and we have to go in and intervene. And if we're constantly in fast forward mode, we'll never see that stuff and stop it in time. And we do want to keep the humans alive or the other races alive, at least until we've bought up all their blueprints and stuff, which we can't afford to do just yet. What I have been doing is finding choke points. Say this location here, this is a Xenon space, and this here is split space. And what I've done is I've put down a bunch of laser towers to help stop any enemies that pop out of there, they get killed. Unfortunately, there's downsides to this. This place is a very low traffic area, so it's not really getting a lot of stress, so this one's fine. However, in the higher traffic areas, the turrets accumulate damage over time, they slowly get destroyed, a K destroyer shows up, a whole bunch of them are going down, you just know it. And then attrition over time wears them down, and you just, you don't really notice. Next thing you come back and it's like there's no laser turrets, and half the sector has been burned to the ground by a K destroyer that's on rampant. But, there are solutions. Now, uh, over here we have our Greasy Joe's. Greasy Joe's is where we do all of our food production. Uh, I started migrating it here so we didn't have to build it onto our main factory and it saved a bunch of production capacity. We just didn't have to, like for example, if I want to add more food capacity on, I just say grab you, I want to copy sequence. And then I just chuck that on there like that and boom. We've just added a whole lot extra module and it does all of the necessary food and medicine supplies, all that stuff that all gets copied along as well, so remove the sequence. And that just allows us to expand this really quickly with a couple of clicks, coming back every so often. We don't have to do any fancy management. This I like. However, there are other stuff we can add on, namely defense modules. Yes, now this is where things get interesting. Uh, let's go get a defense disc. Now this is a defense disc, an Argon one specifically. We went and bought these because it seems they're pretty good. Uh, now, what does a defense disc do? Well, let's go edit its loadout. You see, this thing comes with turret mounts. Lots and lots of turret mounts. Each one of those can mount a turret. So we can say put on a plasma turret there and in fact let's stick on four plasma turrets. So that's four large plasma turrets and a Mark II shield. Now you'll notice we don't have a lot of options here. Namely because I only bought the things I actually wanted which was plasma turrets and flak turrets. Flak turrets go into the medium slots. So there's a flak turret right there and let's crank that up to two. And more medium slots. Yeah, we'll have a couple more flak turrets in there. In fact, let's just go with one I made earlier. So this here is 16 flak turrets. 16 large flak, or sorry, 16 large plasma turrets combined with eight flak turrets. So eight medium flak for fighters and 16 plasma, large plasma for dealing with heavy ships. This thing is an absolute monster at killing stuff. It's, yes, it is a... Uh, no, it is stupid. It's absolutely stupid. We're, we're not including it here, though. We don't We don't care about it. Should we yes, we will discard those changes. Thank you kindly. So, let's go and have a look at one we made earlier. Now, we were having uh, problems over here. I took this choice. This is where we were actually farming a whole bunch of the Xenon earlier on. And we put down some laser turrets. Eventually, the laser turrets got destroyed. So, what we did was we built uh, this defensive module at I took this choice. Let's go have a look at this station. It is incredibly simple. Oh, please ignore the extra large size I purchased it for. It is six defensive platforms, all mounted around a single standard docking module. That's it. That is all it does. In fact, let's just teleport over there to it right now. Entering ah. system. A take fast choice. Where is the gate? Let me find... Ah. Over this direction. See that there? That's one defensive disc. There is 16 large plasma turrets, and our normal Odysseus Vanguard destroyer thing has three large plasmas. Jesus! I think an enemy showed up. Yeah. 
That is just so beautiful. One second. Damn it. We missed the fighting. Oh. That's okay. We need to get ourselves a better vantage point anyway for when the enemies come out. So, let's just run up here for a second. And... Ah! Oh. Let me try that one more time. Hey! Perfect! Yeah, we shouldn't be out here, but who cares? Uh, they don't really care about you glitching through walls and stuff in this game, as far as I can tell. Ah... Uh. Oh, look, you can see all the destroyed hulks of previous ships that tried to come through. This is a wall. It is an unstoppable wall of destruction. Anything that comes through those gates is immediately facing... 96 large plasma turrets, 48 medium flak turrets, and it has a cumulative total of 24 medium shield generators and 24 large shield generators spread about it. As well as that, this thing has a bunch of active repair drones that repair it, and some defense drones it can launch if anything gets too hairy. Uh, spoiler warning, nothing gets too hairy for this. It is just surrounded by fields of corpses. It is the place where the Xenon go to die. This is just like, they keep streaming out of here, running smack into this brick wall, and they don't even leave a mark on the wall. That's the best part. You can just leave these here, and you never have to worry about it again. They just don't die. Well, this one hasn't yet. And it's killed. A lot. Okay, so this blocks off this section here. And this is actually a pretty large section. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five Xenon sectors right here, and they have a large Xenon shipyard and a wharf, so they're definitely producing lots of ships. And then over here, we're producing another one. Uh, currently, there's a bunch of laser turrets helping defend it while we build it up. It's not quite fully operational yet. However, it is still... It still has 94 large plasma turrets and 33 medium flak turrets. It's doing pretty good for itself. Uh, we'll teleport over there in a minute. I want to see if we can't catch a ship coming out of here. Oh, there's one. Oh, the turrets are trying to turn. Oh, I think it's dead. Um, uh-oh. I think I fell. Um, hmm. I'm going to go teleport somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if we fall through space forever there. I'm kind of curious to find out. Hmm. You know what? Let's just find out. Uh, Wee! Uh, we have no air control. It's just so pretty. Did we just teleport back up? Hey! Okay, maybe we should teleport out of here before the game glitches to death. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's teleport. <laughs> All right. Entering system. Family this is our, Zin. our Decius Vanguard. It is a... Uh, Fully equipped and kitted out. And right beside us, we have our defensive tower. Look at the size of this monstrosity. Oh, look, we've got guests. Oh, look, our guests are dead. Yeah, there was a little bit of trouble setting this up ori originally. That's why I left the Odysseus here, just to make sure. We killed three K destroyers setting this up. Oh, God, that's beautiful. It's just so pretty. Um. Yeah... Dear God. So, this takes care of problems. Now, the problem is building the damn things. You have to actually protect them until they're up and running. But that's what the Odysseus is here for. And this monstrosity will keep this entire place safe forever. We've also sent a peregrine uh, little medium ship here. Its job is to go around and collect all the scrap that falls off all the enemies that end up dead. Hey, look, someone else is showing up. Where are yes. you? How long is your life expectancy? Ten? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two. No, it's still going. Oh my god, it's accelerating, is it? I cannot believe. To drop my cargo. Oh, good. Yep. Just escape. And dead. Okay, I think the laser turret slowed it down enough. All right, but we need to get out of here. We can't hang around. See, the problem with us hanging around here is a uh, friendly fire. You see, this thing likes to shoot at things indiscriminately. Assuming someone stands in the way, like, say, the Terrans, it will fire its shot through the Terran ships. And by through, I mean it kills the ship and then out the other side. Uh, that's assuming and if the ship doesn't die immediately, the ship will immediately turn hostile, at which point it will also frag it to bits. So I've lost a little bit of reputation by hanging around here. 
So let's uh, let's get out of here. But there's a, a, and I'll show you how we build one of these at another location. See, this place is now sealed off here. So, and this is the, one of the only ways out. So this is these two ways are one of their ways out. That one's sealed on this end. It's sealed on that end. That just means their only other way out is over here through Argon Space in Getsufun. So we're going to build a third one over here, and that will literally seal off this entire section. Nothing will be able to get in or out. And each Xenon that try and leave will be slaughtered, and we'll have ships collecting all of the loot they drop on each side, giving us a nice little uh, income stream. So, let me just uh, immediately pop home for a second. There's a, a minor thing we have to take care of, you see. Uh, we, we've got a little bit of a bug infestation back in our home sector. You see, the bugs are back in our home system. 18 billion, where we've got all of our factories. Yeah, we were seeing a bunch of those red ships show up again, or the bug ones, and I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, gotta go find them. And we actually have two of the infestations that have spawned in here again, so we're gonna have to wipe both of them out. Eh, this takes a little time, but honestly, they're, they're pretty weak, and our Odysseus is heavily upgraded from the last time we ran into them, so it should be a piece of cake. And they'll probably spawn some ships, we'll suck up all their juices, and by juices I mean like all the stuff they drop. And open fire if you wouldn't mind, there we go. Now what'll happen is a bunch of ships will spawn the moment they start taking damage, and then those ships will run into our flat cannons. And then we'll turn on our magnets, and that the O key, and uh, it'll start soaking up all of the stuff they drop. Come on, let's have a look-see. Oh, maybe a little bit too close. They yeah, were right on the edge. Oh, you can see all the ships just spawning in and then immediately getting shot up by flak. Oh, there's a dead one. And probably another dead one in a second. Yeah, give me give me like about 20 minutes, but okay, about 10 minutes to kill this thing and we'll get back to what we were doing. I had sort of forgotten this thing doesn't explode, so we can get in nice and close and let the flak take some damage in as well. It just helps speed along this thing's timely demise. One of the reasons it's so important to do your bug infestation removals every so often is, uh, what's well, the sheer quantity of them that are annoying us. See all those sort of door symbols with the arrows? That's people running away from, uh, those guys. So I'll just turn them red so you can see them more easily. There's a batch. There's a batch. There's some more over there. They're just, they're everywhere. They're basically an infestation. They get into your system and it's just an annoyance. In fact, there's two of them around. If we bring up the manage plots thing, you'll see there's another station over here that I presume is them that we're going to have to go wipe out after this. They are just incessant. I'm going to have to go find the uh, the spawner ones. They have uh, starter infestations, or I mean, you can kind of wipe them out entirely if you find their their main bases. These things are infestations. They're not actually the uh, the main sources or hives. The hives spawn infestations. I think that's one. Uh, Cack installation. I think that's one of the big ones. That can spawn an infestation within three tiles of it or three jumps. So if we wipe out all of those, they're gone forever. I mean, we don't need to wipe them all out, but I'd prefer to stop them from ever spawning in 18 billion ever again, because, you know, I just don't like taking care of this maintenance. Alright, all the bugs back home have been taken care of. Right now, we are over at Getsufun. And the reason we're here is, well, it leads into Xenon Space, which leads into more Xenon Space, which leads into more Xenon Space, which leads into more Xenon Space, until eventually you get to this location here. And that only has two exits. One has a defense platform on the other side of it, and the other also has a defense platform on the other side of it. So all of these uh, Xenon are bottled up in here, and their only exit that doesn't run them right into a brick wall of death is right here. For now, it doesn't run them into a brick wall of death. So what we've done is we have parked exactly 10 kilometers away from the gate, namely because the uh, plasma can reach about 9.6 kilometers. We want to give ourselves a, a li We want to build this, this next installation right on the cusp of 10 kgs, or you know, 10 kilometers. Uh, why are you set to that? Okay, we're going to go with a new plot, and we're just going to go with one kilometer. Yeah, we want to make this nice and cheap. We want to make it cost efficient. And then we're going to stick down a plot. You can't rotate it, I don't think, so... Right about... Thinking right there is good. This gives us one kilometer of space, and we're going to want to tilt probably a little bit to the right. Perfect. That cost us 48,000, which is nothing. And then we hit continue. Here it is. And then we're going to go with load a plan. Simple defense. Here's one I made earlier. Ah, beautiful. And then we want to rotate this a bit. Probably to about there. I want it facing the gate. Now, all this is, is just one dock and five defensive Argon disc platforms. Now let's just have a look at the loadouts here on these things. Oh, come on, seriously, I'm going to have to load them. It doesn't save the loadouts. Oh, fine. Confirm the loadout change, and then I'll have to do the same for all of them. Thankfully, I've saved these, so it should be easier. And in fact, once I've saved the loadouts, I'm going to try and save the whole thing again as a plan. 
One of the problems we face is trying to line this thing up directly with the gate. There's no real easy way to do it as far as I can see. So the best way I think is we sort of want to aim that direction. So what we want to do is go in and have a look at the box and try and tilt it so that it's pointed that way. I wish there was some way to tilt the actual location so that we could tilt the whole location to face the gate. That would make things nicer. There we go. Probably? Is that... I'm thinking that blue line that's showing up is actually the gate. That might make sense. All right, we'll assign out a builder. We can find one in the local area. This just uh, this place is pretty devastated by Xenon. Most of the local space around here. Seriously? Come on, oh, there we go. You, we would like to hire you for this job. It is incredibly dangerous. Chances of death, pretty high. Uh, no apologies. Oh, 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 confirm module changes. Yes, we will confirm those module changes. And we will close the menu. Let's hope we line that up right. According to this, our budget estimate is 6.5 million. That's all. That's all it costs to build this is 6.5 million. That's not even the cost of a destroyer. I mean, there's some medium-sized ships that would cost that much. Um, yeah, so we're going to help build this along. Problem is, some of the parts you want to get your hands on, say, turret components, they're pretty hard to find. Claytronics, energy cells, hull parts, those are actually not that bad. You know, construction budget has already gone up. Fine, you know what, we'll give you 7 million and confirm that. And hull parts and claytronics, as you can see, are already in the way. Uh, energy cells should follow shortly, but turret components, we're probably going to have to find those ourselves. Ah, in the meantime, we are going to take our Odysseus here, and we're going to go do a little something. I'm trying to tell if this is pointed the right direction. Oh. Enemies. Exactly what I was afraid of. M. Stay away from our station. Muppet. All right. Well, first things we're going to do is we're going to hit the beaky, and we're going to start deploying laser turrets. This is a hella busy neighborhood. Oh my god, we've only been here five minutes and we've already wiped out about five or six ships. Well, we're deploying laser turrets to act as a defense grid. I probably should have uh, deployed these first, but this should keep our base safe while it's been constructed. And it'll distract anything coming out and encourage them not to target... Well, it'll encourage them to target the laser turrets instead of the actual base we're constructing. Well, that went very successfully. We have deployed 100 satellites, or sorry, 100 laser towers around here. This is our uh, defense platform. This is the 100 laser towers, and that's the jump gate that all the enemies should come out of. And we are parked up beside the laser towers and the defense gates. Well, right about there. So we're parked in here. Our Dragon Raider is holding position. Or, our, sorry, not our Dragon Raider. Our Odysseus Vanguard. We've got a Dragon Raider on our back just in case. And uh, we're actually sucking up all of the little bits that come out of the ships you destroy. Our construction vessel has arrived. It's not ours. It's whoever owns it. I don't care. But uh, they've showed up to do this build job. Unfortunately, we haven't got our electronics, our advanced electronics, or our turret components. The advanced electronics and the turret components are going to be the big bottleneck here. There's what's used to actually make the turrets and the shields and all that stuff. The electronics, energy cells, and hull parts, they'll make all the little modules. So the actual docking section and all, was it four, six, all six or five, whatever. All of the actual defense platforms, they'll all get made. But the guns, yeah, we got to find the advanced electronics and turret components ourselves. Which is not that bad. We'll basically do something like this, go out onto the map and start looking around. We can find like there's... 1400 turret components there, there's 146 advanced electronics. It'll take a bit of time, we'll have to use some manual trading, but we'll bring them all over. But first, I want to wait until the platforms actually start to get built. You see, the thing is, until we get some hit points on this, it could die very easily. So if a K shows up, this thing could get wiped. I don't want to waste 7 million, if at all possible. If a K shows up, I'm going to like completely cripple this thing's funding, because the K is probably going to destroy it before we get a chance to kill the K. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. If you are... Getting a little bit tired and restless of waiting for all of the ships to show up to supply the resources. You could bring them yourself, of course. Bring along a bunch of large transports and get them to do it. But, assuming you haven't been that organized, because I'm... There's no way I'm going to load up ships with the necessary resources and bring them along. What you can do is you can go into Configure Station and you can have a look under... Where is it? There's two sections here. Resources Needed and Manage Buy Offers for Needed Resources. If you go to resources needed to complete the changes, it shows you here the wares that have been reserved. So it'll tell you that in about, actually, there's someone who's about less than a minute away who's going to bring along 1,146 claytronics. Two minutes away, 3,164 hull parts, and the energy cells are actually in system. So there's a TER Energy Freighter Okinawa. Ah, 
T E R Energy Freighter Okinawa. Are you around? Yeah, there we go. T E R Energy Freighter Okinawa is just about to dock, and actually, it has and dropped off the supplies. Perfect. Once we get those electronics in, though, that's when the construction will start, and that's when we will start doing a little bit of manual trading. It's uncomfortable but it's just the only way you're going to get your hands on advanced electronics and turret components they're unfortunately pretty hard to find in the local area as you can see we have six million just sitting around waiting for people to go hey give us some advanced electronics and turret components nothing absolutely nothing yet oh finally okay so the claytronics have arrived we've got energy cells we've got hull parts and i think this is the last of the hull parts there that means yeah they should all start being built what's the hull looking like on this thing we're up to 107,000 hull points Excellent. Let's start finding ourselves some advanced electronics and turret components. Ooh. Slow down the game a bit. Oh, damn it. I missed it. They pop so pretty. Oh, here's one. Come on, buddy. Yeah. There is just a whole smorgasbord of laser towers over there. I basically just ran around in circles really badly, dumping as many laser towers as I could. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. It's just get them out of the hull and out into space and hopefully not have me tangled up in it. It seems to be well positioned between our platform and the gate, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Okay, time to do us some trading. So for that, we're going to need our manual traders. I have a bunch of manual traders here. Yeah, you'll notice that some of them are missing. They died. Yeah, it happens. It's a dangerous place out there. Now, oh, uh, one second. We're going to turn off advanced control. If... If, let's just say, you are new to enough to this, to finding the components, all you have to do is go down here, and since we need advanced electronics, just click on those. It adds it to the trade section up here, you can see it, and we can add turret components. If you have other stuff in there, you can remove it all until you've only got the two things you're looking for, or one, or however many. In fact, you can even adjust how many are displayed up here. Like, for example, when we go around looking, it normally displays only a maximum of three things. But you can actually up that to five in the options if you want. I uh, can't remember exactly where, but if you look, poke around, I'm sure you'll find it. Now, uh, give us advanced electronics and turret components. Ah, there's 219 advanced electronics right there. In that factory here. So, we just grab one of our manual traders. They're currently doing nothing. They're all pretty much on vacation right now. Uh, trade with them. Grab our uh, components. And then we can go... Ah, Defense Getsufun. We would like you to right-click... Uh, trade with, boom, and confirm. Then we'll have that pilot actually stay there. Uh, yeah, we, we'd normally send them home, but that's it. And then you just do the same thing, but for turret components. Ooh, there's 1,700 turret components. And then, bizarrely enough, this guy already has a full cargo hold of turret components. I have no idea when that happened. Uh, fine, well, that just makes things easier then. Nice. Uh, number 10, you are empty, ready to go, let's uh, send you the same. We're going to just grab as many turret components everywhere as we can. They're usually the big bottleneck in this instance. Now, I know this game has some weird jank to it, and it's, like, not exactly AAA in terms of quality. But the fact Factory. that you can build an entire station, go inside that station and view everything around it, and at the same time, Laser whoa. Tower, Mark P. That guy was pulling some serious speed when he came in here. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, he's not going to live, or if he does, he's going to be very badly scratched. Okay, uh, that over there is something we can walk around on later. Like, we can literally go, hop across it, and view all the flight decks and all that stuff. That's an insane level of detail. No game bothers with that. I mean, most games, it'll be like, okay, you can build a platform, and you can land your ship on it, but you can't get out of your ship and have a walk around and go see the... Like, that just seems like an awful lot of effort to put in. I would be more than happy to just be able to land on it and be done. But this thing, it actually builds it, and then you can go around and have a look at them all afterwards. Yeah, let's uh, let's stay here a little bit longer until we get at least a few turrets and weapons up. We um, oh, second. Ah, hey, tuning software, get on board. All right, this thing here is looking pretty solid right about now, except for the fact we don't have the advanced electronics or turret components. I have sent a bunch of ships to pull all of these in. Once they arrive, we'll it'll start the construction of the turrets. Once about half of them are done, we can we're free to pull out. Might even remove all the laser turrets. Oh, buggery. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's a K. Don't target our defense platform. Don't target the defense platform. Actually, you can probably target the defense platform now. It's got enough hit points it can take it. Damn, that thing just melts, though. This Odysseus Vanguard we're piloting is an absolute beast. 
It killed stuff hard. Yeah, your hulls, your your shields are gone, which means your hull is just about to evaporate. Yeah. Oh God, you can just see chunks going out of it every time our main batteries connect. And explosion imminent. Oh no. And poof. I think we lost some laser towers. Maybe. Uh, let's just check the local area. Give me deployables. How many laser towers we got left? We did have a hundred. I double checked at the start. We now have... Actually, we have a hundred laser towers still. How do we still have a hundred laser towers? Not going to complain. Not going to complain. All right. The, uh, the dock section is complete. We've started work on Factory. the first def defense platform. Then once that's done, we should hopefully, hopefully start getting turrets up and running. Jump <sighs> Savage that, Spur. That K-Destroyer wreck is kind of rooting the view, though eh, I do kind of like it having it there. All right, we have Factory. a few flak turrets already up and running on this thing. So you know what? Let's try and get a better view. Well, if we just move a little bit forward, try not to run into it. There should be four flak turrets on top there, and you can see the seal ge shield generators as well. We've got our first delivery of weapon components, or turret components, so the turret components are going straight into the flak turrets. We won't be able to produce the plasma ones until we get the uh, advanced electronics. It takes advanced electronics and... I believe it takes advanced electronics and turret components to make the plasma. But once they're up and running, we should be... Well, relatively immune to most things. I think two discs might be enough to hold a place generally, but putting in five to six, just make sure you never ever have to worry about this place again. A little bit more expensive, but if you're willing to pay seven million, why not? Our advanced components have arrived, and you can see the plasma turret starting to get constructed there. Oh, happy days. That's two, four, six, eight on top, eight on the bottom. And that's 16 and another 16 over there, so there's at least 32 plasma cannons about to come online. That is what we want. That uh, should make dealing with any additional caves even easier. Plasma cannons online. Ah, delicious. And there goes more. I, I think I'll hang around here until we've got, say, one more defense defense platform up, and then we can leave it to its own devices. This should be able to handle anything that comes its way. It's it's terrifying to think this ship I'm on has three large forward-placing facing plasma cannons plus two main guns, so. This thing has eight just on top here. That's that's insane. The amount of firepower these things have for the cost is just ridiculous. They're far too cheap. Oh, okay, maybe not far too cheap, but it's just... There's no point buying ships to hold gate choke points. Uh, deploying laser Light towers tower. or these little Mark laser two. tower things are great. They work fine, but they degrade over time. These things don't degrade, don't get lost, don't move around the place, they're pretty cheap. The only problem is finding the components occasionally to build them. But as long as you've got a few manual traders, you can go find those and bring those back. Yes, 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 yes. Wish I had discovered these ages ago. They're going to be part of uh, all of my plans going forward. There is one last thing we would like to do to the station, just to make sure it remains, well, long-lasting into the future. And that is... Oh, 32 flak turrets, 50 plasma. <laughs> it is, but no, no, getting distracted. Uh, we want to go into the station overview. In here, all stations can be assigned drones. So we could say, give it, say, well, 10 cargo drones so it can do things with those. I, I don't even know if it needs them, but fine. But uh, give it 10 repair drones as well. Actually, make that 20. We want it to be able to repair itself pretty quickly. And let's give it about, oof, make it 30 defense drones. So it will construct 30 defense drones and it will construct 30 repair drones. And it will keep those topped up. And it'll give it 10 cargo drones. It's going to need uh, money, though, for that. So we should probably assign it out a bit of a budget. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give it a tiny bit more. No, no, that we just... There you go. Half a million. So you can have half a million in funding to buy drones and all that sort of stuff. And... Wow. Someone show up? Yeah, they're down there somewhere. They died. Um... <laughs> what the... Oh, there, there, see, look, unauthorized kill Antiguan Republic. Um, yeah, we kind of shot some drones there. I think it's time we left. The uh, the splash damage from this is going to cause some problems. So let's uh, let's evacuate here. I think this place has enough defenses to be to be safe. I'm going to actually go to the other side of the gate and pop down a advanced satellite just so we have uh, some long range. Jump gate, Ooh. savage spur. I kind of want to get rid of that carcass Kay. though. I think the locals will. They've got some tow ships coming along to remove the, the carcasses, so they'll remove those ships in a bit. It appears there are a few 
enemy fighters on the opposite side of the gate. Our flak turrets are having a, uh, a target-rich environment to work in. That's right, you tell them, boys. We dropped off a satellite here. I want to be able to keep track here just in case any K's or I's or stuff start to accumulate here or maybe they, they glitch out and lots of them start waiting. But I think we're going to head back through the gate. A bunch of these fighters are going to follow us and I want to see how long they last against a partially constructed defense platform. Also, there's something to be said about popping out the other side of the gate and the first thing you're going to see is a, sort of this the weird T-shaped design of this thing. Yep. Entering system. Get That's the fullness. first thing you're gonna get greeted by. Uh, yeah, let's get as far. Let's get out of the fields of fire if at all possible. I have a strange feeling there's going to be some fighters following us, and those fighters are going to run into some problems. Very large plasma orientated problems and a whole bunch of flak at the same time. Yep. There's our first guests now. Seriously, where are the rest of you? Oh, they changed their mind. They stopped chasing. Oh, no. There looks to be about six that might be interested in continuing the party. Nah, never mind. Oh, yeah, this area is secured. Time for the next step of our plan. I had headed back to base. I was about to do a, a whole big construction montage. But uh, I got some warnings here from our little collector. We have a collector here who goes around and picks up all of the scrap that gets left around by things that get destroyed. This is the place we just left. Uh, defensive Getsufun. It's not actually finished yet, but it's already demolished. It's like, look at all of those little crates. That's left from stuff it's destroyed. I, I think a giant attack wave came through here and it hit a partially constructed one, partially constructed th one of these, and it's just, it's annihilated them. It has absolutely demolished a lot of them. Oh, more dead, more dead. Oh my God. It's just deleting them. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, anyone else? Anyone? Anyone? How are you still alive? I don't think it's focused its attention on you, or maybe you're too far away. Where are you? Eh, maybe you're just out of range. But, oh, wow. That is, um... Right, time for the collector to come back in and start, well, collecting. I don't think they can collect all of that before a whole bunch of it despawns. This looks like a very profitable section. Eh... Uh, yeah, you. Collect as much as you can. We're going to be back in a bit to uh, harvest the bounty. So long as you pull in more than, say, it was about 2 million for the ship, another 6.5 million, say, six, say 10 million. It's about 10 million in total for all of this setup. A little bit less, actually. I think we are more than going to... It's more than going to pay for itself in no time at all. Since we now know just how much resources that's pulling in, let's see how much it's all worth when we start selling off all this junk, because I have not actually cleaned this out in a while. Space fly eggs, we have an awful lot. We can make a lot of caviar. That's uh, that's about 23 million right there. There's no point in making these security bypasses and all those things. We've got plenty of them. Actually, maybe make another seven of those. I don't actually need them, but we might do some missions at some point. So maybe having 20 of those on us can't hurt. Then we can start selling all of this junk. Can I help? Ooh. Here you go. I moved to a different station to sell. Reason being, like, the prices there just weren't good enough and we can make a fortune here. For example, this is going to be our big seller, Programmable Field Array. You use these in making SATA modules, the thing that speeds up time. You only never need one in the game, so any programmable field arrays you can sell for 80 million. We're going to make 80 million just from selling all of those. That's the stuff we're finding from the Xenon and the, the bug things that we're squishing everywhere. Uh, also, Flux Capacitors, they can go as well. That's... About 4 million, and damage Singularity Engines, they can also go. Bring us up to 88 million. That's, um, that's a lot. It's, uh, ooh, that is a hell of a lot. Now, I don't care about most of the things, like interface units, they're not actually worth selling. Uh, decryption modules, most of these things, I just don't care. For some reason, we have a whole bunch of these processing panel units. We'll just get rid of those. I uh, don't think we really need them anyway. You can't sell your security bypass, security decryption, security slicers. They would be worth a fortune. We could make an absolute killing out of those, but unfortunately they don't buy them. Oh, and Majid Lit or whatever it is. Yeah, that can all go as well. 108 million. Hmm. Yep, yep, that's, um... Here you go. That's ridiculous. We just made 108 million. Still won't buy our... Security description systems. Yeah, it says here the trader doesn't want you need to increase your reputation first. Even if you increase your reputation up really high, supposedly it has to be like 20 plus to get them to buy these things and maybe a little bit higher. 
I am not willing to invest that much time. Alright then, now that we've got lots of money, time to go on a spending spree. To do that spending, we're going to buy some blueprints. And uh, the thing is, they're the ones we can't actually steal with EMP grenades. And one thing I've been doing is I have been sticking ships. We have, you see, we have all of the teleport tech, so we can teleport as far as we want to any ship we own anywhere in the galaxy. Which makes life an awful lot simpler. This is put in not because it's realistic or anything like that, it's just because... Well, it makes your life an awful lot simpler in the late game. This map is huge, and tra tra traversing around it is just too hard. And also, remembering where all the reps are is kind of annoying. You can see the see that little crown symbol? That's usually where the rep is. But uh, I've parked ships at all of the relevant yards. Let's go to the Taladi rep. Okay, there's a Taladi rep in here, so we're going to teleport to that location. This should make life a lot simpler. And here we Entering go. Perfect. System. Yanamus, Zura. This that makes life so much easier. You can you don't need the maxed out. Uh, uh, you don't need the maxed out teleportation to be able to teleport a decent distance, but it is helpful for going everywhere without having to do jumps. Otherwise, you have to jump a little bit at a time. Now, in here there is a few techs that you can never ever steal with EMP grenades, and that is the dock modules. Oh no no sorry wrong ones. Build modules. These things here. For example, if you want to build yourself some medium ships, you need to buy this for 116 million. It's a lot. Uh, also the maintenance bay. I think we're going to buy a maintenance bay for now and oh, small medium ship fabrication. Why not? It's going to leave us with a with only 97 million, but I think I think that's worth the effort. Okay then. Good How that hurt to you. To you, you mean? You got the mm, that Oh, God, that hurt. That really did hurt. Okay, then. So, time to head back to our uh, build section. 18 billion here is where we've been building all of our main production. We've got everything everywhere all at once. We've got Greasy Joes, and now we've got... Ooh, let's see. Eh, considering where everything is, we'll put you right about there. Why not? And it's a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Your job? Your job is to be a ship servicing slash production center. Now, uh, give me a second to figure out how we're going to do this. So, plan here, very, very blindingly simple. We're going to get a ship fabricator and stick it around down here in the corner. Uh, yeah, far into the corners we can possibly get you. If I know anything about ship fabricators, and it's not a lot, it's that they usually have an entrance and an exit front to back. We've gone through enough of them. And uh, then we're going to stick the ship maintenance bay right beside it. Uh, then we're going to need some docks for people to land on. Uh, give me three by six mediums. Yeah, a couple of those there should be fine. Actually, you know what? Put one there, and can we put a third one there? Ah, whatever. Perfect. Hey, you're not fitting in right. I decided that location was a bit awkward, considering the in and out nature of all the ships passing through there. Uh, on top of that, we're going to want storage. You see, this place allows us to build satellites and things like that, so I'd like to be able to store all the necessary components. And we'll be putting on some fat. Oh god, why are you up here? Some like the the construction thing on this sometimes is just so wonky. A uh, container, yeah. Another container. Uh, give me another container. Actually, give me several containers. This can also work as sort of a, a spine to the base so that we can put factories on afterwards. There we go. That should give us plenty of storage for well producing all of the components we're going to want in the maintenance bay and the fabrication bay. Then we just assign out a builder. Uh, oh wow. Come on. How many is there? There's got to be one around here somewhere now. There we go. We'll have to check to make sure they've got enough drones when they show up, but... Finished! Ah, that is done. We'll have to put in a pier at some point for the larger ships, but... Excellent. Then we just have to assign some resources so that it will actually get built, and I think we're good to go. Ship fabrication bays take over 20 minutes to build. Ah, uh, thank God for time fast-forward. Also, time fast-forwarding while having a bunch of defensive structures built are over... At key locations does make me feel just that little bit more comfortable. Uh, where are you going? No, 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 come back here and die. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. We'll take all of that. And we'll take all of that. I love it. It's like, it's just watching this guy going around gobble up all the boxes. And we go and collect those boxes off. The <laughs> this is, this is money production, but via violence. I love it. I love it. Hey. Uh, that's just one of them as well. We have three of these set up, though. I don't think the others are getting nearly as much uh, production. How about this section over here? No, this place looks far slower. I think there's uh, it goes in waves. 
I should probably actually get rid of all those laser towers over there. I don't think they're necessary anymore. Well, it's done. We have a shipyard, which I'm referring to as the money printer. Um, unfortunately, there's not much we can do with it just yet. I was hoping to do a few things like use it to say, no, oh, grab a ship, go in and upgrade or repair it. And we could just build, we could build our own advanced satellites for sale. However, this seems to use claytronics, energy cells, and hull parts as opposed to the stuff you're supposed to use, or the stuff the AI uses. So I'm just going to avoid doing that for the moment. It's still beneficial, so I think we will use it in a bit. But what's more important is we need to buy a bunch more traders for this. I've put in a, say, one, two, three, I've got six traders here who are supplying this place, and they're only trading with our local stuff, which means, well, here. So they're basically taking the goods from here and dumping them over here, which is just claytronics energy cells and hull parts. That's it. That's all they're bringing over. And this place has, well, actually, energy cells wise, eh, you're fine. We'll have to put down some of our own independent power on this section, but we should be able to stock ourselves up quite nicely from that location. However, we'd like some more trade ships. Why don't we just build our own? Well, we don't actually have any blueprints. So we're going to have a quick stop over at the Paranid. Now, the Paranid do have ships I like. So let's pop over to them and maybe buy some trade ships. That seems like a good idea to me. This guy here is the faction representative for the Holy Order of the Paranid. They're people we made friends with down here. Now, the reason I like them is they have access to a ship I do like for trading, or the, a mid-sized ship. It is the Demeter Sentinel Transport. This is just a perfect blend of capacity and speed that we really enjoy. So they also stock the blueprints for it. So we're going to have a quick chat with this guy and we're going to buy the blueprints so we can start making our own without having to pay anyone else. That would be really nice. Oh yeah, give me a medium ship. Uh, Demeter Sentinel, we shall grab that. Thank you very much. Uh, while we're at it, let's grab a few other things. You don't need weapons or turrets. We do need your shield generators, though, so... Ugh, you know what? We're gonna need both of those. Ouch. Oh, actually, that's the large ones. I don't need the large. I need the medium shield generators. Mark 1 and 2? Yeah. In fact, give me the small shield generators as well. Why not? Oh, you got a Mark 3? A small Mark 3 shield generator? Eh, we'll throw it on. I mean, we can afford it right now. Uh, give us the engines as well. We're going to take pretty much all your ones and twos because they look cheap. Done. That's, well, we're getting all the low-end engines. We don't want a bunch of the high-end ones just yet. They're a little bit expensive. Thrusters-wise, we're going to want all the small and medium thrusters eventually. So, yeah, give us the medium all-rounds. We don't want the level three ones. Level three ones are just a lot of expense for stuff we are not going to be using just yet. And small combat thrusters. Yeah, both of those. Why not? We already own all of the satellites and stuff like that. Drone-wise, building drones, cargo drones. You know what? This is We're, we're going to have to buy these at some point. And as far as I'm aware, they're universal across all the races. Uh, missiles. Yeah, we'll take them all. And that, I think, will do it for now. Ooh, countermeasures. Flares? Yeah, we own them. Okay, that should allow us to at least build a little bit of something-something. Uh, confirm. 11 million. Safe journey. Still not as b bad as the time we bought that blueprint off the Tiladi. All right, and uh, now we can go back to our own wharf and we should be able to start building. All right, money printer, let's see what you can do. Give us a medium-sized ship, pirated Demeter, Sentinel. Uh, I'm going to go with my default, which I think has yeah, Combat Mark 1. You know what? Combat Mark 2. What's, what's the difference? It makes it a little bit faster and it's probably going to cost us some more readers. Oh, wait a minute, now we need it. Antimatter converters, engine parts, field coils, shield components. We're going to need all of this stuff. That's we fine. Something out here. Uh, you know what? We're, we're going to have to build those in anyway. Uh, what about the combat drives? Ooh. These ones don't really add anything else. They just use the basics. So for what I'm seeing here, shields, if you want to go with certain types of shields, like Argon Shields Mark II, we don't really need much. But the... Shields Mark II belonging to the Paranid require different things. Wait, let me play around with this for a second. Right, from what I can see here, thrusters-wise doesn't cost you anything. Engines-wise, though, it does cost you antimatter converters and engine parts. Better the engine, the more of them you need. Uh, then there's the shields. Argon Medium Shields Mark II don't seem to require anything. Uh, for example, if you make it empty or we stick them in, they seem to require just basic parts, as in whatever we already have on hand. Where the Paranid ones seem to require field coils and shield components, so... Yeah, we'll we'll just stick with the Argon one for now. Turrets, we're not even bothered putting them on. 
I don't put turrets on my um, my traders, otherwise they just get themselves in trouble. Their job, run away. Run away as fast as you possibly can. And this is the bit that really kills me. I wanted to buy loads of these satellites and just use them to um, well, make huge amounts of money by selling the advanced satellites. However, it seems to use Claytronics and hull parts to make them, not the scanning arrays and advanced compo electronics that I thought it would. We could still make a fortune out of it, but uh, I think that we'll leave that for another day. For now, I just want to see if we can't churn a ship out. Well, trying to build a ship has changed the menu down here. We've got a bunch of stuff shown up that wasn't there before, namely fuel coils, engine parts, shield components, and antimatter converters. This is good. This means, well, the plan was to build these parts here anyway, so we're going to build the factories on this to build the, the engine parts, the fuel coils, the shield components, and all that. We're going to be able to produce our own ships. What I want to do is churn out a giant fleet of killing machines, namely destroyers, but in the meantime, I want to buy up everyone's components and start making ships for them so that they pay us lots and lots of money, so that we can buy up all of the blueprints and start making really, really, really big ships of our own. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Anyway, I am going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.